Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. Thank you for being here. Today we're going to do um, an unboxing, a walkthrough, and a card pull of this fun, wonderful, uh, talented, imaginary, imaginative <laughs> deck by Monica Bodersky. I think that's how you say it. Shadowland Tarot. It's such a fun. I can't wait. I've been wanting this deck for so long. And this tells about the deck and it has some um, comments from people and you all can read all of this. But let's get into this and see what it's all about. So very excited. It came packaged like nobody's business, you know, really packaged well. It wasn't going to go anywhere. All right. It's a very sturdy box. It's magnetic. Oops, as I moved the whole table. <laughs> it's magnetic. We do have that. That yellow. Oh, look at this. That up there. Isn't that wonderful? Beautiful yellow. All right. I'm trying to start a fire here. Okay. So we have a wonderful deck. Uh, book. Oh my. We have oh, how many pages? Oh, there they are. Three little spiders on the bottom. Oh, how cute. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Little spiders. 207 pages. And there is, there's the author, the artist, author. Um, this is Red Feather Publishing. Uh, so thank you very much. I, I'll leave a description how this came to be in my possession. So thank you, Red Feather. Thank you, Shipper, for this. This is um this is truly an honor. Deepest gratitude and love to my husband and partner in life, Alan Webster, for always being my light. How wonderful. Oh, gosh. Got the contents. And then the foreword by Liz Dean, the preface. Introduction, Shadows, House of Shadows. What's inside? And then it goes into the cards. And you have a full color illustration. You have the card, the keywords, the shadow, the message, all about it. And then reflections if you journal. And then, but that's on every, every card. And then you go into the minors and same thing. You have the two pages. So that's wonderful. Oh, cannot wait. Oh. And how to use a card, significators, timing the reading, symbolisms. There's a lot in this book. All the numerology. Wow. That's wonderful. Court cards, reversals, how to shuffle, spiritual hygiene, and reading environment. So I'm all about that. Single cards, yes, no. Wow, she's packed a lot in here and all the, all the spreads. Oh, I like that. Thirteen moons. 13 moon spread. Creating your own spreads and then tarot facts. So that's going to be very interesting. Beautiful book. Beautiful, beautiful. So these have the little tabs, which I do like. And then they're gilded. I did not know they're gilded. Ugh. I did not know they're gilded. All right, let me slide this off. <laughs> Can't slide it off. Well, there we go. Okay. So they have that, that gilding, the backs, the cardstock. Cardstock is not bad. And in relation to seven five card to a standard tarot. 
a little bit thinner than like your standard playing, you know, tarot card. A little bit thinner. Not much though. Not much. So about the same size. Okay, so here is here are the cards. The seeker. <laughs> His head's down here. He's holding the poor cat. He's got his bag that's packed. That cat just does not seem too sure, does it? The magician. I'm not going to name all the cards. The money. The water. The wands. That's so funny. I love the little monster leg. This is on the, this is on the cover of the box. This is a card on the cover. Hmm. There's so much in these cards. Wow. Empress. Oh, you gotta love that. Her belly, and she's she's just she's the tree, the growth, all the little critters by her. How cute! And everything in in it, you know, it's like the whole world there. <laughs> the shaman, right? Beautiful with the orb. The lovers. Aww. I'll put some of these cards down because they're hard to hold. No. <laughs> the chariot. That's great. Those little critters are just uh, the imagination strength <laughs> that's great the wheel of fortune the balance <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love bats. <laughs> Temperance. That's interesting. Hmm. You know, with the flames, and I have to read on the book because usually you have temperance with the water and the, you know, the, the mixing of the water. The devil. A little bit. Not sticky, but they just kind of give a little bit of a, you know, a, a pause or something, a little bit stuck together. But I've had cards way worse. Oh, I love that, I love that. upside down umbrella. Oh. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Oh, so far that's my favorite. I don't know. I love the chariot. Oh, this is going to be such a fun deck, you all. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Discretion, interesting. For judgment. Those red shoes, huh? <laughs> All right, then we're into the suits. So we have some type of witch hand holding the crystal ball almost with the Ace of Pentacles and the little creatures. This would pair really cute with the Monstero, I think. <laughs> He's like, ta da! Or she, or they, or it. Aw, four pentacles. A little snail. <laughs> There's so much in this. I mean, you could just get lost in the pictures. The five of pentacles. I love that. Being left out, Sasquatch, not being part of, not, not being able to go join them on their camping trip. <laughs> they just, it's perfect for that card, not being part of. <laughs> Everybody's exchanging everything. The vampire. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's funny. Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> the page. You got he's studious, he has his books there. The night. Oh, bless his heart on a snail. The queen. The cat. <laughs> the red witch boots. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. And the king. The crystals. Look at that. Love it. Ace of Swords. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh my goodness. Four Swords. Five of Swords. Oh, it's got all the corn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> moving forward <laughs> on the dragon. That's funny. Oh, <laughs> like little voodoo dolls. <laughs> Eight of Swords, that's that's great. I wonder what the Red Boot significance is. Oh my goodness, the Nine of Swords. Talk about a nightmare. It's almost like a mobile, <laughs> you know, a mobile or whatever they call them for babies. Oh no. Oh, that's a little guy that was sitting in the corner. Oh, he's got all the pins in him. The Knight of Swords. 
Definitely movement onward and upward, right? The queen. The king. Taking care of business. Roasting marshmallows. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. Now that's a great one. No. Making little spider webs. That's so cute. <laughs> Double hands of victory. Seven of wands. Those are brooms. Those are brooms. How interesting. Nine of Wands. Aww. Hmm. I love that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Those hands. Oh. And the king. Ace of Cups. That's wonderful. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it's like a selfie. <laughs> I love the lipstick. Oh my goodness. Four of Cups. Aww. Creature from the Black Lagoon or whatever, some kind of some type of lagoon creature. The soda spilled over. <laughs> How cute. No, it's like a skeleton zombie. He's got bandages on him. I'm going to walk away. No. From all his things. Nine of cups. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the rainbows. That's so great. I love that. The page. <laughs> Fish with the fish. <laughs> fish with flippers. <laughs> oh, what a fun deck. <laughs> oh. Too funny. <laughs> that is wonderful. Queen of Cups. And the King of Cups. Oh, that's great. 
Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Let us see how it shuffles. What a beautiful deck. I did not know it was gilded. That totally... Um, so, not going to get a good ripple, I don't think. Not with all of them. It's a real thick deck. It's really thick. I guess you could. Some people say you shouldn't shuffle gilded decks. Um, but you shouldn't try to bridge shuffle, shuffle gilded decks. Well, we got a card that came out right away. It's the very first one. So we're going to read out of the deck. Out of the deck. Out of the book on that one. And just see how she writes. And remember, it's got all that. So I probably won't read all of it. We'll see. It says, I am just beginning a journey of discovery and not sure which way to go or what I might find, but I'm going to take a chance. Standing on top of a mountain, the fool, also referred to as a seeker, is prepared for a journey complete with suitcase, companion, and appropriate attire for the weather. There is a beautiful and breathtaking vista of a sunny day, symbolic of a good start to the adventure. There seems to be a small catch, however. The seeker has lost his head in the excitement, possibly due to overthinking the situation, so is not sure which way to go. He asks the cat, who is a symbol of instinct, the way forward instead. Keywords are journey, new seeking a new journey, adventure, beginning, caution, planning, and unique. Shadows are reckless, gullible, haste, Im immobility, thoughtless, impulsive, naive, and stuck. The message is this card indicates that you are at the start of an exhilarating new journey, project, or way of seeing. This may encompass a physical, emotional, psychological, or spiritual matter. You may be actively seeking a new perspective or employment, a new home, or relationship. If the beginning of something if the beginning something causes you anxiety, remember to keep an open mind and be willing to take a chance. This is a good time to begin a business or project. Excitement and intuition can sometimes overwhelm logical decision making, so foresight is advised before embarking on a new adventure. Because we all possess different comfort levels, assessing risk is very subjective. To some, merely getting up each day and making it out the front door is a risk, while to others, climbing a mountain without a guide in sub-zero temperatures is a risk. Ensure, your ass assess ensure you assess your own comfort level before embarking on a new journey. Take time to meditate and look inward to differentiate between what you want and what you actually need. When making major life change, we can easily become overwhelmed and lose perspective. It, if this occurs, you will find the idea of change too daunting. Listen to your intuition as well as to your logic. Remember to consult with those who have made similar journeys and ask for input, assistance, or guidance from those who can help so that you may begin any new journey with confidence. Sometimes spontaneity is simply, sometimes spontaneity is simply in deciding to make a change. The seeker possesses an unusual and creative perspective that allows for insight others may overlook. Embrace your unique way of seeing life and use this nonconformity to your advantage moving forward. This can, indicate, this can indicate a fresh perspective on your health and offer insights into which way to go forward. Get regular checkups at this time to ensure you aren't risking your health. Professions indicated by the seeker include any job requiring innovation, creativity, adventure, and independence, such as a visual artist, travel coordinator, or writer, entertainer, explorer, filmmaker, or spiritual seeker. And then it says on the reflections, what am I seeking at this time? What am I seeking in this stage of my life? If you journal, if you journal prompt, am I feeling reckless? Do I feel stuck? on my current path and able to start again or do I need change or do I change paths whenever things get difficult why am, am I resisting beginning a journey what type of journey is appropriate at this time what steps do I need before I start this journey so again wonderful and each of those has professions indicated on all of these you have you know professions indicated by the magician that's wonderful. That's just wonderful. 
So there you go. You have this beautiful, beautiful deck. And wonderful guidebook of the Shadowland. Tarot. Scooch it over. There we go. About the best I can do. <laughs> Thank you all for watching so very much. Let me know if you have this deck. Let me know if you use this deck. Let me know what your favorite cards are. And I appreciate all of that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And until next time, guys, um, thank you again. Bye for now.